Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Thursday, November 7th, 2019. Football Thursday, more on that coming up in a bit, including a free pick in tonight's NFL. But before all of that, quick note, if you've yet to take advantage of uh, the DocSports.com offer to give it a free trial run, and become a member, you can still do so. It's a free $60 account. All you gotta do is click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. It's as simple as that. Free 60 bucks, it comes with the DocSports.com guarantee. And uh, y'all, all all you gotta do to get started is click on that link below the video. Hey, it's been a real nice run the last couple of weeks with our free picks here on the video report. We're now up over 55% going back about four years with our free picks. And uh, that goes back to even before I got to DocSports.com. But again, over the last week, we've been tearing it up with these free picks. 2-0 in college basketball with the free picks. We had Arizona easy win. They won by 39, laying about 22 and a half, 23. And uh, before that, the night before that opening night in college baskets, we had UC Riverside over Nebraska. That was about a 34-point cover. And uh, 100% with our free picks in college basketball, better than the percentage I have over at DocSports.com with premium picks in college baskets right now. But listen, I'm passing in college basketball on Thursday. If you check out the schedule for yourself, you'll see there's only a handful of games that uh, really are regular board games uh, to even speak of. We ran through them, and we didn't like them. There's like three games that are regular board, and we just didn't like any of them. Didn't even come close to having a play on any of those four free picks or for premium picks. So it's all about football, it's all about the NBA, and it's all about the NHL. And uh, we've got a big six-unit play going in the NBA on Thursday, in fact. And we're on a 51-34 and 34 NBA winning run. And again, six-unit play on Thursday in the NBA, available at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time. We've also got an NHL power play for you on Thursday's card. That'll be available also at 1 p.m. Eastern. We passed last night's short card in the NHL, uh, but we are on a real nice run. We are hitting 63% of our NHL bets so far this season, and uh, we are now hitting, well, we've won, gosh, it's been crazy. Uh, after going 22-11 and 11 last season, we've been on fire. We're 41-22 and 22 now with our last 63 NHL plays. That's the long-term run going back to last season. 63% winners so far this campaign, and again, we've got one play in the NHL, which will be posted on Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific at DocSports.com. So there you go. NBA six-unit play. Don't miss out on these. They don't get much bigger than that. As you know, over at DocSports.com, one of our biggest plays so far this season. Uh, the NHL power play, both available at 1 p.m. Eastern. And then, of course, let's get to it, football. And I really wanted to talk about this week's football card because we've got an eight-unit play going in the NFL this weekend. And uh, listen, we are 75% lifetime with our regular season eight-unit sides in football since I've been at DocSports.com. This will be just the second that I've had in the NFL this regular season. So be sure to jump over there to DocSports.com. Uh, they don't come along a lot, but as I mentioned, 75% winners. And you know about the NFL run, 86% the last two weeks combined in the NFL, but it goes way back longer than that. Over 420 plays, upwards of 58% winners. We have a top 20 finish, money finish in the Westgate Super Contest a couple of years ago. And most recently, we're on a 76 and 51 NFL winning run. 60% against the spread. And when you include a few pushes in there, it's about 130 or so picks that we've been able to hit at that rate. 76 and 51, 6 1 and 1 the last couple of weeks over at docsports.com. Don't miss out this week's card. College football, obviously, and I've got a six unit play in college football. We've been really good with these six unit plays so far this season in football, both college and pro combined. And then, of course, the eight unit play leads the way in the NFL leads the way for the entire week and potentially for the rest of the season because again we've had very few of these this will be just the second NFL play so far this season but again 75% lifetime since I've been a doc so don't miss out listen I know that's a lot of talking before we get to the free pick but I got to let you know what's going on because I thought you might be interested and if you are then come on aboard and and let's uh, put it together and, and get a winning weekend here in college and pro football so uh, by the way the football will be posted 6 p.m. Eastern 3 p.m. Pacific time eight unit play in the NFL 
leads the way this week in college football and NFL. And as you know, over at DocSports.com, you don't purchase separately. You can get all college football and NFL all in the same package. You don't have to purchase separately. So check it out on the Thursday. Really pumped about this weekend in the NFL and college football. All right, let's get to our free pick for today. It is the clash tonight uh, between the, um, the Chargers and the Oakland Raiders as the Chargers cruise up the coast to Oakland and Chargers, of course, off the big win over Green Bay last week, 26 to 11. And uh, listen, I know everybody's talking about, hey, the Chargers found a running game. They went to the ground. They got a nice running game going. They gained over 150 yards and on and on and on. But we've been preaching since oh, week two that Green Bay's defense is not all that it's cracked up to be, especially against the run. You can run the football against the Packers. The Chargers, good game plan. They did so. They got the win. It was a horrible spot for Green Bay going into a layoff of a couple of big games. And listen, here's the situation this week. They're going up against an Oakland defense that's pretty darn good against the run. And I think what you're going to see is Chargers are going to have to open it up a little bit tonight. And uh, I don't think that's their MO or their best MO to win football games week in, week out. We also throw in Anthony Lynn into the mix. Listen, as a head coach, he just doesn't get it done three games in a row. Uh, in fact, his team has won and covered just one of their last seven uh, off of two straight wins. They rarely win three straight games under Anthony Lynn for whatever that's worth to you. As far as the Oakland Raiders are concerned, love the young kid at running back Jacobs. I think they'll be able to run the football here like the way the offensive line is working. They're keeping the pressure off Derek Carr. He's able to make quality passes, accurate passes, and without throwing picks over the last couple of games. They got uh, a nice win last week over Detroit as they finally got back to their home digs and I expect them to uh, get it done tonight. In fact the Oakland Raiders got to make sure on this one wrote down the note here, typed up the note so, so to speak. Uh, they've covered six of their last seven at home and I'd like them to get it done here again tonight. By the way the Circa, they opened the Raiders a two point favorite. It's crossed favorites. They're now as much as a one and a half point underdog. We'll back Oakland uh, over the Chargers in Thursday night NFL football. Again, don't miss out six unit play leads the way in Thursday's NBA. We've got the power play in the NHL, both of those plays 1 p.m. Eastern. And then, of course, after 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, all my college football, all my NFL for the entire weekend. And again, that does include the six unit college football play on Saturday and the big one, the eight unit play in Sunday's NFL. Go grab them all. We'll look to extend that 76 and 51 NFL run. 172 and 132 is the college football. Uh, run over the last oh, 300 plus plays. So it'll all be available 6 p.m. Eastern on a Thursday. Again, the free pick is the Oakland Raiders. And uh, listen, best of luck to us. I hope you like these videos. If you do, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. And again, I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. We'll be right back here Friday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific with our next report. Let's put Thursday in the win column. We'll talk to you then.